Well, it's here guys. It took uh, a lot less time than expected, but uh, the new Voodoo 5 6000 clone or remake is finally here. Uh, but yes, it was it was very quick shipping. Um, it only took just under a month, so very good. Anyway, let's um, do an unboxing. I've got a <laughs> better tool this time. Um, and I may have to run inside because it looks like it's about to rain. So we'll see how we go. So um, this box is a lot bigger. Um, I still don't know how to get into it from here, I think. So should be a lot easier to get into than last time. Now this one does have a special box, so I just need to be particularly careful. That has done very well. It's looking pretty good. So I think Anthony's really outdone himself this time. Uh, this is the first card from him that's been put in a full retail box, effectively. So he's called this one the Special Unified Accelerator 6000, or SUX 6000. Um, and wow, this is uh, actually a really nicely built box. Ah, oh, and there we go. Serial number 03. I'm very happy about that. I think that's the lowest serial number I've seen so far. All right, so let's see if I can get into it. Ah, oh, he's got his logo. I love it. So professional. Got another one of his really nicely done manuals. And now what we've all been waiting for. Let's take this off. So this is the Voodoo 5 6000. It's got four VSA 100 chips, 128 meg RAM. PCI bus. It's got a PCI Express power connector and two VGA ports, one for a pass through. So let's have a quick look. Oh wow, this is seriously heavy. Um, these heat sinks are insanely heavy. Uh, he definitely recommends installing it uh, upright with a brace. Um, so I'm going to need to uh, work out what machine it goes into. Oh wow, look at the uh, logo on the back too. Black and gold is a very good look. It looks so good. So I can see there's a BIOS select jumper. So I'm assuming you can have like an overclocked, and the I can see two BIOS chips there. So I'm assuming you can have an overclocked and standard version. It 
it looks like it's got uh, five nanosecond RAM on it. So it may be overclockable. The GPU, uh, they're not the revision 320s, which were the like last of the VSA 100 chips. This is just the 220. Um, but it, it may be able to be overclocked, but I'm more interested in uh, four times anti-aliasing or eight times anti-aliasing and higher Quake 3 and Unreal Tournament. Anyway, uh, that's a quick unboxing. I've got planes going overhead now. Um, let's uh, test it in a machine.